Dog bites should be prosecuted as crimes when the person who owned or had custody of the dog did something truly criminal, such as let their unmuzzled, vicious dog come into contact with anybody. But that is not the only circumstance in which a dog bite case should be prosecuted as a crime. Even judges and district attorneys don't realize there's another very important reason why dog bites often should be prosecuted criminally. And that reason is something called restitution. When a person is convicted of a crime, the sentence can include an order of restitution. This is a court order that requires the defendant to reimburse the victim for out-of-pocket costs. In a dog bite case, this means reimbursement for medical bills, loss of income, and other economic losses. It doesn't include pain and suffering. Restitution can also be a condition for a plea bargain or a sentence bargain. So every criminal prosecution in a dog bite case can provide restitution for the victim even when there's no conviction. If there's a guilty verdict, you have jail, fine, and restitution. If there's a plea of no contest or a plea to a lesser charge, jail or probation, a fine, and restitution. So why is restitution so important? Here's the answer. Every year, dogs bite 750,000 Americans so badly that they need medical attention. But homeowners insurance and renters insurance pay the bills for only 16,000 of these victims. 734,000 don't get paid anything by the liability insurers. So who pays for their medical treatment? Taxpayers and workers. Medicare, Medicaid, and private health insurance pay for about 90% of the medical bills for more than 700,000 victims who are not paid by the liability insurers. These are costs that should be paid by the dog owners or their insurance companies, but they are not paying. And in some cases, not all of them, but in some, this is not fair. In cases where the dog attack was a crime, it produced a significant injury. The victim was not the dog owner or a member of his family, and the dog owner was uninsured. There should be a criminal prosecution, and the sentence or the terms of probation should include full restitution to the victim. This would make the dog owners pay their fair share of the economic losses from dog attacks. One more point. States that follow the one bite rule make it difficult for a dog bite victim because he or she has to prove that the dog previously bit someone or acted like it wanted to. So in those states, the dog owner and his insurance company might not be legally obligated to pay the victim for medical costs or anything else. The victim might have no way to get medical bills paid without restitution. So if the dog attack happened in a one-bite state, and if it was a crime, even a minor one because of a leash violation or a chaining violation, it should be prosecuted criminally so the victims can get the bills paid through restitution. In short, restitution is often the only way to achieve justice. If medical bills and economic losses have to be paid by the victim or by society, it's the equivalent of society or the victim serving the sentence that only the guilty party should have to serve. And that is not justice.